Hey everyone, welcome to Raspberry Pi Made Easy. Today we're diving into a simple project. You'll learn how to connect the servo motor to your Raspberry Pi 5 and gain a clear understanding of the code to control it. Let's get started. To kick things off, make sure you have a Raspberry Pi powered up, a servo motor and three jumper wires. First, let's connect the servo motor to the Raspberry Pi. You'll notice three wires on the servo. Red for power, brown for ground, and yellow for the control signal. Connect the red wire to a 5 volt pin on your Raspberry Pi. the black wire to a ground pin. And finally, the yellow wire to a GPIO pin, which we will use for sending control signals. For today, let's use GPIO 14. Let me run the Python script I have to make sure that the code is running as expected. To make your life more convenient, I have included the code in the description. Once I have the code running, the servo appears to be responding pretty well. Let's now go over the code in more detail. So, as you can see, we're using a library called Angular Servo, which provides smoother movement for servos, which can help reduce the flicker. The min pulse width and the max pulse width parameters may need to be adjusted based on the specification of your servo. The values 0.5 divided by 1000 and 2.5 divided by 1000 are are typical for a lot of servos, but you might need to tweak the, these va values for the best performance. The set angle function directly sets the servo angle, and the sleep function ensures the servo has time to reach the desired position before accepting another command. If your servo isn't moving, double check your connection and ensure that your Raspberry Pi is supplying enough power. Servos can sometimes be sensitive to an insufficient voltage. Also make sure that your values in, in the script are within the range supported by the servo you're utilizing. You've now just programmed your first servo motor with a Raspberry Pi. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more about what you can build with your Raspberry Pi, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notification.